puke in my ring. There's a garbage can, the restroom's over there, or crawl up under the ring. I don't care. Don't puke in my ring. You ready? seems hard now and that's what discourages a lot of guys you know that they don't want to they feel like they can't do it but they don't pay attention to what you're actually saying to them like it gets better once you learn the proper way to do it it gets better when you take a bump just like that feet flat nothing out here like that nothing like this because you're going to hurt an ankle shoot out a knee you don't want to do this because you're going to get an elbow. But if you pop them out flat like that and keep your chin tucked like that, you, you, ain't, you ain't hurting nothing. you want it, we're going to offer it to you. I think, I think it'd be real good. I think you'll do well. You know, and it, it, believe me, it gets better. It really does. The main thing that you need to work on is, is the cardiovascular part. You need to get you some mm -hmm. wind. Yeah. We usually do two days, and I've kind of crammed him because most of the time the guys don't last through the first day. Let me get on. Get a hot bath. I'm dead. I can't recall the last time my body's been battered like this. I, 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 Jesus, I can't think of a part of my body that don't hurt. It's not like it's going to happen to him overnight, but I think that he's got the guts to do it. And if he's willing, I'm willing to give him the opportunity. You know, so I think that the potential was there. So what was it like being in the ring with Jim Lewis? It's humbling. I mean, this guy, man, he could tear me apart if he wanted to, you know? Here I am, about 30 years younger than he is. I'm benching 320, this, that, and the other, man. And there's this damn middle-aged guy with a belly out here who probably just ripped me apart, just, just dismember me. You know, working the 12-hour shift that he did, I admire him for that. And coming in here, I mean, this is kind of scary. Yeah, well, there's a lot more to this wrestling business than anybody ever thinks of. Paul Kogan once said they're the greatest athletes in the world. I damn well believe him now. He's got what it takes. We're going we gonna to give it one hell of a try. First thing, though, I'm giving up the cigarettes. Yeah? Yeah. Now, from now on in this film, 
The toothpicks, all you're gonna see is my mouth. You wish your brother were here for this? Yeah. Yeah, because he, he always pushes me, you know. I'm just gonna have to do it for him until, you know, he's able to himself. So what do you think? What kind of condition was your dad in when he got home? Uh, very, very weak. He feels very painful. He can He came home. His back was hurting. His neck was hurting. His thighs were hurting. Babies. sore in places I've never been sore before. Things like, I didn't know could be sore. You got bruises? Hell yeah, my back, man. I welts on my back from those iron ro iron pipes they call ropes. I was hoping you guys didn't show up tonight. <laughs> Just gonna get one nice rest in and start, you know, running. I'm gonna add some, a lot more cardiovascular to my, you know, um, weight workout routine. I have to. How many cigarettes have you had today? I don't know, about 10. Still is pretty good for me early. I was all right till about one o'clock, and then I just couldn't help myself. I had to grab on that. But I was real strong until then. Are you still excited about it? Yeah, more. I don't know if excitement's the word. I'm more fearful than anything. Just terror. Pure terror. I'm gonna go in there and look like a wuss in front of everybody. Is that is that a big concern? Yeah, it's a big concern. You think the other guys didn't look like wusses when they started? Yeah, I don't care what the other guys feel like as me I'm worried about. Because he's probably going to be like, no, listen here. You know, you guys just make everything look real easy or something like that. This guy, they got these guys coming here filming, trying to look like a hot shot. He's trying to make it harder on me just because, you know, we got a crew with us, you know. You don't really believe this guy trusts us, do you?
Just a uh, simple run of the ropes. Yeah, he can't do it. That's why you keep asking, though. You want to rest. You want to rest. You want to rest. You want to rest. Yeah. You ever had that happen before? No. And that was life. 